You're watching Nate and Allie building a snowman in their front yard. Because this year, we almost had a white Christmas. In fact, Christmas night it started to snow, and for the next week or so, the magic just lingered and lingered. So Leo, tell us about this axe. Talk to the people. Um, I peed on it. <laughs> okay, more details. You're in the back of the house, out in the field, mm -hmm. and you just had to go number one, right? Yeah. So you, uh, you, you found a spot, uh -huh. and you started in. And I started going. And then what and happened? Then, I'm like, wait, why is my pee reflecting off the ground? So I started to kind of kick it around, and I found a rusty old axe. But it was rusty then, but it's shiny mm -hmm. now. So what, so what are we going to do with that thing? So we're going to put it on a handle, polish it up, and um, I'm going to wood burn on the handle, I love dad, and the date, for a Christmas present. For this Christmas? Uh-huh. And how many days left till Christmas? 17. So we don't have a lot of time. Yep. All right, let's get to it. Fold it to the same side together. So it's the same, so. So you can make a nice tight crease. Okay, and then if you want, you can take something like this, and make a nice tight crease. And then, see if you can tear that. Right down. Just kind of pull that side down. Oh. See how that works? Yeah. See? Just like you cut it with a scissor, all right? You take this, you take this, and you're just gonna, you hold it with the thumb and you're like that. Okay, do that up and down, all the way around, make it just as smooth and even. Yeah, it does. So, okay. the axe head is going to go to there. So you've got all of this and all of that. So think about where you want your letters to be, what do you want it to say, how big you want them to be. Before you drive that, huh? Let's see how this is going to happen. Okay, that's good. All 
Alright, I got this. Drive that dark part in there a ways. Just the dark part. I got the axe. You can use two hands if you need to. All the way? Oh, hold on. Yeah, drive that on down there some more. Why do we need to wedge it apart? Hold on. So the head can't come off. See? See, it flares the wood out. Okay, tap that in. Hold, hold it, hold it. Now we'll catch up with, catch up with that one. Good. Let's see what it feels like. Good job, man. Okay, now see what we did? We added some wood so that it came all the way out, and now there's going to be a nice contrasting color in the middle. It's going to be beautiful. Black. We want the contrasting color. Mm. Alright. So here's my thought. Yep. Plug this in. Let me scoot you up. We're gonna clamp this down so it's not moving around. Oh. Watch how this clamp works. Grab that, feel that, how tight that is. How about that? Whoa. Pretty cool, huh? burning? Yeah, Just sand the whole handle. Sand it, sand it. I wanted to let you into the shop and just show you what my grandson Leo made for his dad, Nate, for Christmas. And maybe point out, if you stick with us at the end of the video, the really big lesson that I hope he remembers from this project. See, now you can't really cut yourself. Oh, yeah. That feels so smooth. Okay, we'll just about wrap this up. All the things that we've done so far, we've put the head on, we've sanded the handle, I wood burned, Dad, I heart you, heart Leo 2021. And, it does, and then we put the bluing agent a chemical bluing, bluing agent a chemical bluing agent on here to make it look nicer and and now we're going to put a natural wood sealer on it and now we're going to put a natural wood sealer on it got that all right so you hold this and now i'm just going to pour some of this in you're going to kind of let it soak in Okay, now just start wiping it on there and don't drag your sweatshirt in it. So what does this do? Just seals it up and brings out the color of the grain a little bit. Let's give you some more on that rag. Okay, just paint that right onto the end of that. Slap it on there. Slap it, yeah, up and down. Will it hurt the metal? No, it won't hurt the metal at all. Okay. See that little shiny? Good. It is. And it's getting better. Let me do just a couple strokes. You got the right idea. And if you could get a knee on there. Did you get a knee on there? Yeah. Put two hands on there. Take, take, take one hand and grab the end of the file like this. Okay. Okay. Put your left hand out on the end. Nice controlled, yep, pushes. There you go. Since you guys work with axes and like you saw them sometimes, yep. you would know that that's the wrapping. So that's like right. the second that he got the wrapping paper. He would know. Yeah. But not now. All right. Bring it over here. Handle goes right in there. Okay, do that piece of clay. How about 
with that. you make it as good as you can with what you've got. And the key to that is and get it lined up. You can't have it crooked. You get it lined up and then do short pulls on the trigger. Mm -hmm. Like that. Good. Good. Why is there a ladder up against the big tree? Well, I've been I've been planning on doing a tree house someday, you know? <gasps> Yeah! So I put a ladder up there to check it out. You know what I found? That's the folks! No! That's it! Nice! It's done! Now. Okay, now look here. We're gonna do it at home, because... Okay, take it home. And you can shh, 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 shh. And you can practice spraying some micro. Oh, watch out for boxes. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Hop down, dude. You can carry this. Thanks, Mom. Well, what do you say to your pops? Thanks so much. You are welcome so much. Ready? Yeah, yeah lay him back, though. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> Is this the axe that you found? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yep. No kidding. That's why. And you wood burned all of this in here? Yeah, that's why I was going to Papa's shop after Jiu What? I would go over there to work on this. This is the axe that you yourself found. Look how beautiful yeah. it is. And then we also added some like different shades of color. Oh my gosh, Leo. And then this... we also added this. We like burned that in. Leo, this is incredible. <laughs> this is dangerous, huh? Yeah. You gotta be careful with it. After working with Leo for two or three nights in the shop, I saw that he was beginning to get it. But as I watched the final segment that they filmed right in their front room Christmas morning, I know he got it. And the lesson is this. The lesson for all of us is this. It is more blessed to give than it can ever possibly be to receive. Thank you for watching Essential Craftsman and keep up the good work.